Hey, is anybody in there? Anybody around? Can open this or move this wall or whatever the hell you guys are doing. How did they get this thing here? They must have used the crane or something. What the fuck? Alright, is this some new military technology to move a heavy wall like that? Well, it's open. I guess I'll go in and... What the hell? It's back. Alright, let me try something. Here we go. There it goes. Interesting. And there it's back. How about that? Hey, there's the base up ahead. Go through the secret passage. What secret passage? Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Just follow me. Yeah, there's a secret passage here. You know, the base uh, installed it a while back. But uh, no one knows about it but a select few. Da -da -da. Secret agent man. You guys want to know how I did that? Let's go to the editor and I'll show you how I set it up. How to move a wall with a trigger. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Cervelo. Today I'm going to show you and share with you a code used in one of my missions to basically move a wall that will act like a door using a trigger. Let's go to the editor. I'm gonna go to Stratus. Here we are in Stratus, and we're gonna go down here and basically create a setup for a wall, just like you've seen. So first thing is first, we need a player, so let's just pick a survivor. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to props under empty, and we're gonna type in wall. And under wall, we're going to go to military, which is towards the bottom. And we're going to put big H barrier block. So that's going to be our first wall. The next wall is going to be military base wall. These were just filled in. These didn't move. And we're going to set this guy up just like that. We're going to control C. Control V. And then we're going to basically just center the wall in there. Just like that. I know it's not realistic. Like, you never use a wall like this in real life or anything like that. But I'm basically showing you a code which could be applied to, to anything. And from here, we're going to go to markers, and then we're going to basically choose a square. And we're going to place two squares, control C this, and make another one. I'm going to change the color of this to blue. Color doesn't have any significance, I just want to see it better is all. What we're going to do is we're going to name this mark one and mark two and that's it mark one we're going to put right on the outside of the yellow the yellow block and then the other one we're gonna put down here So this is Mark 2, this is Mark 1. We're going to go to the wall itself, and we're going to name the wall, Wall. Nothing special. That's all you need, you just need to name it. Next, go to Triggers. So we're going to go to F3. We're going to go to uh, 100 meter trigger, but we're going to resize it. So we're going to go to the map, and resize this trigger. 
actually want a square trigger. And we're going to resize it so it fits for the area that we're in. And then what you're going to do is you just got to resize it to how you want. But the idea for the trigger is for someone to enter it and then make it move the wall. So we're going to do something like that so that the trigger encompasses the road. So the trigger is for basically players, AI, whomever is going to enter the trigger to move the wall. So now we're going to edit the trigger. We don't need to name it or anything. We just have to set the activation conditions and so forth. So we don't need to worry about type. We're just going to have anybody as activation. If you want to specify this to where only a specific faction can enter your base, then you could do blue four or op four or whatever side that you're on. So we're just going to leave it at anybody just for the sake of demonstration. And then activation type is present. So basically, whenever anybody enters the trigger, the wall is going to move. And you definitely want to set this to repeatable, otherwise it's only going to work once. So after you get those set, we're going to go to on activation and we're going to enter a code. So what you're going to type is the following. You're going to put the, the name of the wall, so wall and then space, and you're going to put set pause or set position. Then you're going to put a left curvy bracket and put get marker pause space and then you're going to put quotes and then you're going to put the name of the one of the blue markers so the blue marker that you want is going to be the one that's on the outside of the wall not the one that's on the wall and i'll show you after i get this code put in here so that's going to be mark one and then you're going to put a quote right curvy bracket and then a semicolon and then we're going to go down on deactivation and we're going to put wall, set, position, or pause, space, left bracket, get, marker, pause, or position, space, semicolon, mark, one, and then end of quote, space, right bracket, and then semicolon. All right, so we just hit OK there, and we just have to confirm which one is which. So Mark 1 is in the middle, Mark 2 is on the outside, so we need to switch that. When the player or whomever enters the trigger, we'll change this real quick. Make this a 2, make this a 1. So on activation, the wall is going to open. It's going to basically move to mark 2 or marker 2 and on that deactivation which means when you exit the trigger the wall is going to move back to position mark 1 which is right here and now we're going to save this put them on the outside and you can see how big the trigger is so if you have to you could always resize it so that it's down more, closer to the wall, and only part of the road is covering the trigger area. That's kind of sloppy, but whatever. It gets uh, you get the you get the idea. All right, so we'll just save that again, and we'll play the scenario. All right, so we here we are, and we just walk up to the trigger. And then the wall gets moved over there. And then as we go inside and exit the trigger, the wall gets moved back. Now here's the tricky tricky part to this. And I'll show you, we'll go to spectator a second. And I'll show you why. All right, so the wall was at the beginning in the center, but when it moved back to move to the outside, so I'm going to show you how we fix that. And this is kind of, you have to tweak it. So let's go to the map. And you see where marker is. You basically going to move that just inside a little bit. 
wall is going to move to the center of that. All right, so we're going to enter. And then let's see where this guy ends up at. Yeah, it's still on the outside, so it needs to be tweaked. Now, let's go to another mission. There's a mission that I was using on VR. This is another application. This is essentially what I did in one of my missions. You could do something like this with a door. And that's what I kind of created. So you enter the building, and then the door closes. Door opens. And door closes. I know it's fast. I don't know how to make it slow to make it more immersive. I mean, a different wall could be used. In the mission itself, the trigger was inside the building, so... I had it where when the AI spawned in, they would spawn inside the building and it would trigger the trigger obviously and then the wall would slide to the left, exit the trigger in the building and enter the area and then the wall would close behind them and that's how that worked. It's an interesting code to play with just to move stuff around. There's, I'm sure there's better ideas that you could use it for. I uh, hope you guys figure out what you could do with it and uh, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.